Hey guys, today I am doing a collab that is very special and was created by someone who is very dear to me. Her name is Clara Barrera. You may have heard me talk about her on my channel because she is a uh, someone that I've met through YouTube that has become a precious friend of mine. And she came up with this idea for a group of us to do a look for breast cancer awareness. And we're calling it the Pretty in Pink multi-channel collab. And I thought it was really great of her to just pull some people together to do something for this and um, just to be supportive for people who have gone through it, are going through it. Um, for those who have lost their battle, and also for those who know people and love people who um, have gone through it or currently are. Um, it's something that touches a lot of people's lives, and um, I think it's important to pause and be thankful when we are healthy, and also be supportive and there for people who you know, are going through these tough times. So um, I am thankful to Clara for inviting me to be a part of this and the other amazing women that are doing this as well. And I'm going to, I have my little sheet here to make sure I don't miss anybody. But so of course, Clara, I will have all of their channels linked down below so that um, you can check them all out and see all of their pretty and pink looks that they're gonna do. Um, also is my sweet friend, Leanne Soreo, Debbie Knobloch, my cousin, Anya Stamper, Kyra from Journey and Beauty, Brie from Pink Purple Red, no, Purple Pink Red, I always say Pink Purple Red, <laughs> Stacy from Flawed and Fabulous, Tracy from Little Makeup Channel, Tracy Lee Beauty, Sparkly Princess Lynette, Lil Betsy 79, Lil Miss Nat, Kaylee Wesley, Jamie's Crafts Cooking and Makeup, Laura from Gold Star Works, and Sandra from My Real California Life. And yes, I believe I've got everyone there. And like I said, everyone will be listed down below so that you can check out their channels and check out their looks. So today I decided I would go ahead and use the Pure Visionary palette for this look because it has some really, really beautiful pinks. And um, I always know if I do a pink look with this, it's gonna turn out beautiful. So I thought, you know what? This is perfect for my pretty and pink little look here. I already have some of my makeup on because admittedly I am recording several videos today. My eyes hate me already from taking off makeup to reapply. Um, so I just have like my foundation, powder, concealer, and some bronzer on, which I realized that my last video that I just recorded, um, which you will see before this, it is my fall snack inspired look. I never even put blush or highlight on or anything. So I'm looking pretty pale in this video. But hey, whatever. So, um, but I do have specific blushes and highlight and stuff that I'm putting on for this video. So I'm going all out pink. So let's just go ahead and get into this eye look and then we'll do everything together. The um, cheeks, lips, highlight, all that. So I can show you all my pretty pink stuff that I'm gonna use.
Now for blush, I have my Too Faced um, Love Flush and Justify My Love that we're going to use because it's pink. Alright, and for highlight, we're going to use this Estate. Um, it's in pearl, but it's kind of a pinkish highlight, so we're going to use that. And then for lips, we're going to use that Ofra um, Madison Miller lip gloss in the shade Sugar Cup. I'm feeling like my eyes are just not quite as pink as I want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Helena Blush Tribe palette. And I'm going to use the... I'm going... <laughs> I'm going to use the shade um, Angel. That is definitely better. I just, I, I wasn't feeling it. They were not pink enough. So this is just a very simple light look, all pink, mostly light pink. And I think it's really pretty. I like it. 
I figured people are probably going to be going like really bold and stuff, which is going to be super fun too. So I was like, okay, well, if in my mind, that's like what most people are probably trying to do, then I'm going to try to go the opposite way so that there's a huge variety of us. I'm sure there's going to be a huge variety anyway of looks because we're all just so different in the types of looks that we like to do. But so I decided to go a little bit softer. And so this is what my look is like. So I'm going to come up close for you to see the eyes. Hopefully you can see there just very simple. Hopefully I don't look like I have pink eye <laughs> and would it be a look that I would normally like wear out? No, I like a little bit darker. If you look at my looks, you'll see I like a little bit darker around the eyes, especially at the bottom. But this was just fun to do for this collab because of what it is for. And these collabs aren't meant to always be something wearable. They're meant to be something just fun and um, you know, to show our artistry, individuality as far as like the types of looks that we like to do or like things that we just feel like it would be fun to create, not necessarily that it'd be something that we would, you know, wear in, on a daily basis or out in public. But um, I would wear this out in public. It's not like it's something crazy, but it's just um, not, I like something a little bit darker, but it was a fun change to do something lighter. And um, yeah, I actually just had someone comment on one of my videos. It was Nona about like that I always do like vampy kind of darker looks. And it is funny because that is definitely what I tend to lean toward. It just is what I like when I look at myself. I'm like, ooh, I like that darker look. But this was super fun and I cannot wait to see the looks that everyone else does because I know there's going to be a wide variety. I bet there's going to be some really fun bright pink lipsticks and just bold eyes very artistic looks mine is not very artistic it's very simple <laughs> but um I'm just I'm happy with how it turned out and with my really pink blush and I think this was really fun so thank you again Clara for inviting me to do this and um just you know another thing that brings awareness and helps us all to remember that people struggle through a lot of different things breast cancer is just one of many of the things that people struggle with and um, go through. And we should all be more mindful of being kinder to each other. No one knows what each other is going through. And um, and it doesn't even matter. Somebody doesn't even have to be going through something. We should all just be kind. This is just a reminder that um, a lot of people are struggling with a lot of things. And yet there are so many things to be thankful for. We are so blessed to just be alive, to be able to experience life. And life isn't always pretty. It isn't always easy. It Sometimes it just downright sucks in certain situations, but we can still find the joy and the beauty in any situation. And love, love is always there. And that is the most important part. So let's be loving and kind to each other. And I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Thank you. Bye.